Hello. I'm Nadine Dorries, the Minister for Digital Computers and Cultural Sport. Here's another extract from his front bench woman, my erotic political thriller now available from a massive box in my conservatory. And remember, you can't spell conservatory without Tory. Chapter 9, The Algorithm Method. Fierce front bench filly Naomi Forrest was meeting the head of Massive Hard, the main computer company of the world. Hi, girl Bates, purred Naomi, noticing his nerdish eyes practically dribbling at the sight of her parliamentary curves. I've got one question for you. When are you going to get rid of the algorithms? Gil adjusted his glasses hurriedly because they'd tilted off to the side a bit. He wasn't used to politicians looking ravishing. They normally looked like men or sometimes a non-sexy woman. Oh, er, he gibbered. Well, Naomi put her hands on her hips. The head of Massive Hard was all of a dither. Just then, lights began flashing red and alarms sounded like in a film when there's a crisis on a big boat. Oh no, squealed Gil Bates. Their computers have gone berserk. Naomi kept her cool as per. Don't get your langer in a twist, Bates. Show me to the main computer around here. I'm the digital minister for England, after all. Gil Bates hastily showed her to the main computer of Massive Hard. It was as big as a living room in an 80s terrace, probably, and had a keyboard and a mouse and a screen. Naomi typed on the keyboard in computer language. Please, Naomi Forrest, you're the only one who can help. Gil Bates was rolling around on the floor like a ball. Just as I thought, triumphed Naomi. This whole damn thing is jam-packed with algorithms. I've been saying for years we needed to get rid of them. You did, Naomi. You were right all along. Gil whimperingly agreed. Naomi took the main computer's mouse and clicked on all the algorithms, one after the other. See you in hell, algorithms, she gravitased. And click, she blasted the last algorithm out of existence. The alarms and the flashing red lights calmed down and stopped and turned off. Well, Naomi, you saved the day. Gil was amazed. Could I show you my appreciation of dinner? Naomi could see his corduroys straining at the front. No thanks, Bates. I have to get back to my second home. The Houses of Parliament. And she left. It was actually Naomi's third home, though.